we're going to create some really cool rollover effects now using behaviors that are built inside of Dreamweaver that are available for you to use with a click of a button. We're going to work on the special editions page next and add some tables and some cool rollover effects. All right, now that we're done with this HTML page, let's go ahead and close this. Close this. Let's go ahead and go to File Open. Okay, next will be the special editions page. So again, just like we did, we can throw away this content because we don't need it anymore. And with our text found here, we'll go to Special Editions. And there's quite a bit of text here, so we'll press Control A, copy it. Okay. And before I paste it, uh, I'm just going to type out Special Editions. Okay, keep that real simple. And I'm going to add a table. So let me get my menu back here, F4. I'll add a table. And we want one row and two columns, 100%. Sounds good by me. Click OK. And the thing is, we're going to need uh, four or five tabs here. So I'll tab this a uh, few times so we end up with four. I'll tab it a couple more. We can always delete them if we don't need them. Okay. And at this point, let me add a little bit of padding to this. So I'm going to, again, jump over to my layout and go to Expanded. Just it makes it a little bit easier to select all these pieces here. All right. So let's go ahead with our table selected. I'm going to add a little bit of padding, maybe five and five, just kind of give it a little bit of space all the way around. Um, this table right here, there might be a little bit too much space. I have it set to 10 and four. Uh, I'm not going to tweak that. We'll just see what this comes out with here. All right, let's go ahead and paste our text. I'm going to paste it in this very bottom one here. So I'll hit Control V. And we'll just paste that right here at the bottom. Okay, we'll go back to standard. And I don't need the word special edition, so I can delete that. All right, this is the paragraph above the entire table. So what I'd like to do is maybe select these two cells. Okay, It's very difficult to see, but I've pretty much got uh, this row here selected. So with that done, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose this option, this little button here, which is under Row. It says Merge Cells. So by doing that, this now becomes one cell. So I can just highlight all this, paste it, and drop it right there. Okay, next we have this twisted, so we'll select this twisted, move that right up here, okay, bent reality gets moved right underneath it, bottled art gets moved right underneath it, okay. So that's pretty cool, that's easy to add text. Let's go ahead and format all of our text here. So we'll call this um, Heading 1. Okay, and this is actually going to be a paragraph. Looks like we don't have a paragraph command in there, so let's add that in real quick. There we go. I'm just going to hit Enter because it needs a P tag. Okay. So I'll hit enter and then delete to get rid of that extra space. Heading one. There we go. All those are done. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop some graphics in here. Okay. So the graphics that we're going to use are in special edition. Okay. The first one is going to be twisted and we're going to choose. Um, Let's see, Twisted Amber is the one that we're going to use, so we'll click and drag that in here. Let me actually move this over. Okay, and so I'm going to say this is Twisted Amber. And I'm going to center this, so I'll just select it and choose Center. Just makes for a little bit neater display. Okay, the next one is going to be Bent or uh, curved emerald. So we'll just drag and drop that in. 
Okay, and I'm going to center that one. And then lastly, I'm going to get this bottle here, and we're going to choose the uh, ruby one, I believe. Uh, oops. We'll put ru ruby is red, so let me make that red. Okay. So now all of my elements are in here. Uh, I don't need this anymore, this set of cells. So I could easily just highlight those and hit delete. That'll get rid of any of those extra cells that we don't need. Refresh. Okay, F5 refreshes it. And now we're ready to add some more detailing or formatting to this. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is name these graphics before I go in here and start adding stuff to these. I'm going to select that graphic and right here where it says image and the size of that image, I'm going to put in some information here. So this will be twisted. Amber. Okay, very important here because I'm going to use some behaviors to um, switch these graphics around. I want to make sure that we have them labeled so we can find them. So this is bent, emerald, and this one actually needs to be centered as well. So this will be um, bottle, ruby. Okay. Now this here, this identification is different than the alt tag so just be aware of that those are two different totally different things all right so on our available colors now let's go ahead and uh, we'll make these two bullet items so we'll hit our bullet you notice what happens okay pulled out all of our pieces here so we'll undo and we'll hit bullet now okay and then I'll just hit enter and um, enter and delete that way it pulls all this together so let's go ahead and do that to all of these here okay we'll go ahead and hit delete and then enter so I can align these correctly bullet this as well delete and enter alright so now let's add some behavior I'm gonna do that in the next lesson I'm gonna actually put a little graphic here we'll stretch out the graphic resample it and then put in these graphics here